Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman. Does Bitcoin go to a new all time high for the first time ever before its having event in April? Let's discuss Bitcoin again. High level consolidation, yet another breakout here to $65,250. And marching towards that previous all time high around 69000 If it gets there and breaks the all time highs before the happening, that would be the first time ever in this happening cycle that that has happened. That would be the strongest market sentiment of Bitcoin pre having ever in history usually we have a run-up leading into the halving cycle but i've discussed in previous videos that run-up should have ended between fifty eight thousand to sixty two thousand dollars now we are here at sixty five thousand dollars outperforming history some of the major reasons that that is happening is a we had a huge washout from ftx and all that leverage and everything else but the biggest thing is the bitcoin spot etf is buying thousands of Bitcoin each and every day, Monday through Friday. We also have drunken Ma Michael Saylor, who has just been buying, buying, buying Bitcoin for the past two to three years and has never sold a single token. We have seen the MicroStrategy stock price explode off of this. Our other publicly traded company is going to follow suit. Apple has $200 billion in cash. Will they join? Their stock has been struggling. Maybe they need to add Bitcoin to the balance sheets in order to catch a bid from the hype around Bitcoin. Right here, right now is a tough spot for new buyers or new interested parties in Bitcoin because we are very high up here again, near unprecedented levels. I do have a 30% drawdown marked on here. Usually in Bitcoin, we do see these 30% drawdowns. That would put us around 46 thousand dollars forty five thousand eight hundred to be specific when does this drawdown happen does this drawdown happen only time can tell you can see here we had this formation we had the breakdown calling from at fifty two thousand two fifty it followed perfectly to the line but we only went down to around fifty thousand maybe forty nine five didn't get the full fifty eight five and uh what happened indicators reset and they're flashing a buy signal here before this higher move how is this affecting the rest of the market Adam doing quite well up to 1250 as you can see here we sold Adam way back here for 10% profits at $13.40 we watched this downtrend line watch this downtrend line watch this downtrend line and gave an additional buy here at $7.05 telling you to stake in earn that 15% APR in the form of Adam which now with this double up off the low was more like 30% APR over this period it held this neckline here bounced rallied hard and now we're sitting here at the previous highs if Bitcoin does a slow consolidation I expect Adam to once again follow what other alts are doing break out above these highs and head towards the promised land of $13.50 to $15 at that point we'll reevaluate the trade but again we are staking so if we are going to unlock our staking it takes somewhere between 7 to 21 days in order to act and actually get them unstaked or unbonded and then be able to sell those assets as a trading bag band was one we took a trade on we had a price target of two dollars this has far exceeded expectations but we sold up here at two dollars and 32 cents waited bought back at a dollar 63 had a price target of two dollars and a profit stop here at a dollar 81 continue to rally showing nice uh, strength again but look how band likes to run it likes to do these exponential curves and then give it up exponential curve gave it up that's what we sold here for exponential curve forming again and if bitcoin it spurts up too quick or dumps too fast band will give up this exponential curve once again because it's already way up here on this exponential rally i mean your upside objective maybe you can get 270 280 on this parabola but likely to re history to repeat itself you see it over and over again on band bnb absolutely explosive absolutely explosive this was kind of the area we're looking for buy zone look where it consolidated 416 dollars the best move with bnb now is if you own it to pair it with your cake in a liquidity pool or a farm over a pancake swap to earn somewhere between 15 and a half percent up to 35 percent apr paid out in cake that is what we are doing that is what i would be doing with bnb bnb isn't going anywhere binance is still one of the largest exchanges it is bnb is still burning based on uh, fees not only on Binance but also on the Binance Smart Chain, and now they do have the OP BNB chain out as well. BNB is getting more and more utility, and still the main liquidity provision token of choice for the Binance Smart Chain. 
With that being said, cake here, big rally, but getting reject, getting held right underneath this uptrend line. If it breaks out, it will explode to new local highs above this $4 mark. Sitting here at $3.35, this bring big cream candle was off the success of Uniswap and their fee repayment plan, the revenue sharing plan, had a big green candle. It is holding gains, just needs to find its way back above this uptrend line. And again, above $4 would be the target on that. It is up 220, 215% off the lows, not too shabby. The pools for Cake are not paying good APR at all. Again, the best way to make passive income with Cake is to pair it with BNB in the farm. Coinbase still holding 205 here. We had another big trade on that. Sold it too early, but, you know, things get frothy. Bought the dip down here. Sold it for 36% gains. Now we are up here at 205. Pre-market with Bitcoin Green is showing this thing back to new local highs. But we are getting very frothy on the technometer, on the OP is still lockstep, but on the RSI as well. Bearish divergence, this is going to go to yet another high, creating even a further bearish divergence. If Bitcoin gets slapped, you see how these things get slapped. We'll continue to try to trade the volatility of the crypto-related stocks like Coin, MicroStrategy, Riot, Mara, and more. Doge, big rally, I told you Doge was going to do well, but what would I tell you? If you think Doge is going to do well... Then you need to own Floki. Shout out to all the Doge holders. Congratulations. But if you want to outperform the dog meme coin you need to own to outperform is Floki. Up 4% today. Up 395% since February 22nd. Yes, that is correct. And that is also since our last buy. We bought back here in this consolidation accumulation phase. We staked it for two uh, staking periods. Earning token along the way. Big APRs. And then boom, 390 percent gains this comes off the back that 25 percent of the circulating supply is locked into staking the dow just voted to burn two percent of the circulating supply worth 24 million dollars dogecoin has been doing well floki likes to run after doge and outperform it and meme coins are having their own little cycle right now as we speak lastly floki has been adding utility products including valhalla flokify locker launch of token all over the past six months so more and more floki is being locked up burned and used within their network that all leads to a recipe of massive explosion. We are still long here on Floki. <clears throat> INJ looked like it wanted to repeat itself. Consolidation, breakout, consolidation, breakout, consolidation, breakout. But whales, every time it is getting up here, are dumping, 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 dumping. And it is back into the range. Not to say that this can't still play out. Yes, we are still long and up a few percent. But this would have been a perfect time to break out here and lead towards our targets. A lot of people are talking about $68 targets. As you know, we start our sell range a little lower than that. The measured move around $57, the Fibonacci $63, and all of the influencers are saying 68 So we try to front run those guys, and it is conf confluence here with the Fib levels, and the measured move gives us this sell zone here, R and I and J. Juno! <laughs> Juno absolutely exploded off the lows, saw the low, another explosion, and then sold out. If you don't know, Juno takes about 7 to 21 days to unbond the staking. So as this thing is moving higher, if people want to sell, they simply can't. They have to unbond. That takes time. Once that time uh, got through, there was the sell-off. Now it is finding a rounded bottom once again. Will it catch up with the rest of the altcoins as it broke this 300 moving average and finally get back to the $1 promised land? I think that is a good likelihood that that could happen. And uh, again... There will probably be people on staking and unbonding. It will take 7 to 21 days, and then we'll see some kind of consolidation again before the next leg higher. Juno is paying good rewards. I think somewhere around 15% APR uh, paid out in Juno. So you can compound those, and you win bigger when this thing continues to rally. The high was, you know, it was way ahead of the market, up 572% off the lows. People unbonded. Now you're still sitting here up over 215, 212% off the lows. Not too shabby for Juno. Manta, when we took a trade on upon launch, a good 35% gainer. We have watched it meander and go lower. Why? More tokens are coming into circulation. We saw a massive wick when Bitcoin showed any weakness because these pre-sailers are in at 36 cents, 38 cents. I don't know the exact line, um, but you can find the token economics. I think they're up here. Uh, the cliffs are ending. Tokens are getting into circulation. And they are up huge, so people obviously are selling. I expect there to be more downward pressure on Manta, especially if Bitcoin finds a top up here. Look, a little Bitcoin wick sent this thing all the way down to $2.19, which was the final support before 
catastrophic failure. Uh, so this is going to be a tough one for traders. If you're staking in, you're long term on it, okay. But traders, you can see we got in, we made 35% gains, we got out, and we've been right, right as it just has been a slow mover, meandering lower, while other altcoins have producing massive gains for us. MicroStrategy $1,080, holy cow. NVIDIA $822, holy cow. Penn, after the failed earnings, is trying to hold these levels up to 1850 Like to see it. Uh, unfortunate that they missed their earnings there. That was our first uh, losing trade on Penn. We, have, we didn't sell it for a loss, but we are down on that one. Riot 1444. The miners have really been struggling here compared to coin, micro strategy, and Bitcoin itself. Maybe miners are taking profits as they think this is a FOMO rally. Again, we've never got to the previous all time high on Bitcoin before the happening. Uh, so maybe some of those individuals with their data analytics, they got to run a business. They got to make profits. They're selling some of the mined Bitcoin out at these levels. Token 59. Got to love it. We did sell it here before this big rally. It followed Floki, but that's why we're remaining long on Floki to earn more token. But it's all about the bigger picture for token. I gave a buy down here. We made 513% gains, sold it out, bought the dip again, made another 59% gain, sold it out, bought the dip again, and held it, staked it, made some money. Staking ended, sold it for 6% gains before this last rally. We are still staking our Floki up 350%, earning more take token on a daily basis. That's why I was a little nervous. Bitcoin had that red day. Uh, this token supply is being inflated by the Floki rewards and the token rewards on, on a daily basis. Made me a little nervous. Wanted to lock in uh, some profits there and continue to earn token with our Floki position. And then our AI portfolio, we have taken profits on Render. We took profits on RLC. We took profits on Ocean. We took profits on Pal. We took profits on Grok. All winners. They have all stayed about flat or gone up a little bit. But, uh, you know, you got to take profits in crypto. It's all right to have some cash and look for other opportunities. ORNJ, a BRC20, our first play into the BRC20. We have made an actual absolute fortune on We got in the pre-sale at $0.04, cents, added on a trade after the post-launch dip. And then you can see we had a sell here on the trade. We bought back, sell here on the trade, sold our pre-sale for 1,000% gains, and put a buy limit in at $0.26 cents to help uh, support price because we knew there was going to be a washout on March 1st. I told you that would happen as all the tokens were getting into play. That's why we took profits, put a buy limit, bought back all of our tokens plus some here, and now we are up on a 30% rally off the lows already. I think ORNJ is massively undervalued BRC20. It will capitalize on the BRC20 hype, and I wouldn't be surprised. New all-time highs above this $0.80, cents, but uh, a, a relatively quick move after some partnership announcements, maybe a Tier 1 exchange listing, staking announcement coming this week. That's what I expect. Getting us back into the mid $0.50 cent range rapidly if you're a trader. That's what I would be looking at. And then lastly, I'll show um, GPU. This was another one of our AI positions, AI portfolio positions. You can see we made massive gains. We made uh, 575%. 630%. We still have a 25% long position here, up 1100%. We're trying to give it some time unless it flashes a big major red sell signal, only because it has been absolutely on a tear and sitting at a $39 million market cap. This is how you uh, get into positions, ladder out of positions, capitalize on big gains, and not be afraid to sit on some cash until the next glaring opportunity comes. We did have a buyback zone here that it wicked to a couple times, but full disclosure, did not get filled myself. It happened too quickly. So had the right buyback zone for this next rally, just it happened too quickly. Didn't have limit orders because it is on the Uniswap decks and didn't get filled down in that zone. But another major win for Learn Crypto, for myself and for the Learn Crypto community. That's a quick update. Bitcoin can't stop, won't stop. This is unbelievable uh, historical performance. I mean, my gosh, my gosh, and it's going up higher here. $65,550. Unprecedented times for Bitcoin, unprecedented times for the crypto ecosystem. Don't be afraid to take some profits, sit on some cash, and look for fresh opportunities because we do know that 30% corrections are in the play card for Bitcoin. We just don't know when. Follow here for daily updates. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Join us at patreon.com slash your own crypto. Talk to you soon.